All right, so I have my meet set up. Um, I got my athletes, my teams, and I actually have the entries as well. Uh, a lot of people get freaked out at this stage because uh, they look at the events and they're like, oh my gosh, where's, where's the entries? I don't see them. It didn't work. Um, well, that's because we're looking at heat one right now, but the meet hasn't been seated. So there's nothing, nobody in that heat. But if you go back kind of before heat one, it actually shows you all heats. And um, so you see here's the heat column and the land column. And you could actually, in theory, go through here and you could manually assign these. And then if I go to heat one, I see this guy. But, you know, of course, you really don't want to have to do that. Um, so what you want to do instead is you want to seed. So you click the seed button here. brings up our seed window. Um, over here we can configure uh, the... Um, it says uh, you want to create all these extra heats. Um, you can create all the, uh, you know, whatever rules you want to do, you know, random, full heats, balanced heats, you know, whatever whatever rules you need to do. If you need to do alleys, we have that capability now as well. Um, and you can click seed round. If I do random, you'll see every time I click it, it changes a bit. Um, so that's well and good. Uh, we can click save and do that for that event if we wanted to. Um, before I show you what I really want to show you, let me show you up here in preferences under preferences um, you see we have this seating autopilot delay um, so we can configure that to be as short or as long as we want in seconds we also have our um, our, uh, our settings for our lane preferences so we have that so now back on this the screen what we want to do is I want to see it again I'm only going to see let's say my sprinting events right um, make this a little bit bigger so you can see more of this. So you see it filter this list only by my sprinting events. They're all checked, right? And so then I want to go over here and I want to say how I want to see this. So let's do balanced heats. Let's do best spread out among heats and eight lanes um, by lane preference. So then what I want to do is click autopilot and you'll see it shows me what it's going to do for the 100. Now it's down to 300 hurdles. And you see um, it's actually taking, if you look in the top right, you see the little stopwatch. It's actually counting down based on my, my timer. So it's basically showing me, okay, this is what uh, we're going to do. It gives me the timeout in order for me to click pause if I wanted to stop it from doing that, or else it goes ahead and, and does it, saves it, and moves to the next event. So the autopilot is really your best friend for seating because it... Uh, makes easy work out of out of this. All right, so now it is done. Click save here, close out, and you'll see all my sprinting events are now seated. We have lanes, and we have uh, we have heats. Um, now we can go over here to the publish tab, and we can do heat sheets. Um, you'll see this first event is not seated, so we have this double dash. But that's because that's a distance event, and I didn't see the distance event. So, um, so if I go down to, uh, here's some sprinting events here. So these uh, these hurdle events are now seated based on what I just did. Um, so at this point, you can save it. You can publish it right to Milesplit. You can email it, um, print preview. Um, that's it.